Uh, consider the expression z equal to x cubed plus 3xy. And let's have a look at how we find both first order and second order partial derivatives of z. And first of all, the first order partial derivative day z day x. To find that, we need to treat y as a constant. So partially differentiating with respect to x, x cubed will differentiate to 3x squared, while 3xy, the y is being treated as a constant, so therefore 3y will be multiplied by the derivative of x with respect to x, giving 3y times 1. Therefore, day z day x simplifies down to become 3x squared plus 3y. Similarly, if we now want to find day z day y, the partial derivative of z with respect to y, now x is being treated as a constant and we're partially differentiating with respect to y. Therefore, if x cubed is treated as a constant, the derivative of a constant is 0, and then 3xy will become 3x times the derivative of y with respect to y, so that will just be 3x times 1. Therefore, day z day y is equal to 3x. So I've redrawn what we've done so far in flowchart form. If you look at what we've done, to get day z day x, we partially differentiated z with respect to x, while to get day z day y, we partially differentiated z with respect to y. Now to get the second order partial derivative day squared z day x squared, first of all, that means we partially differentiate with respect to x a second time, so that day z day x was equal to 3x squared plus 3y. Day squared z day x squared is a partial derivative of that with respect to x. So the 3x squared differentiates to 6x, and since y is being treated as a constant when we partially differentiate with respect to x, that 3y term just differentiates to 0. Hence, day squared z day x squared is equal to 6x. The next second order partial derivative we can compute is day squared z day y day x. And what that notation means is it means first partially differentiate with respect to x, as we've done here, and then partially differentiate with respect to y. So that means that day squared z day y day x will be the partial derivative with respect to y of 3x squared plus 3y. Now the 3x squared part of that will then become 0, since x will be treated as a constant, and the 3y part with respect to y, that's just going to become 3 times the derivative of y, which is 3 times 1 to give day squared z day y day x is equal to 3. Now let's go along the other branch of our flow chart. We found day z day y. And so from there, we can find day squared z day x day y. What does this notation mean? Well, this notation means first partially differentiate with respect to y, as we've done here, and then with respect to x. So partially differentiating this result with respect to x, 3x will just differentiate to 3 in that case. And you might notice that these two partial derivatives, day squared z day y day x and day squared z day x day y are equal. That is not a coincidence. Provided both of these partial derivatives exist, they will in fact be equal. Now the final second order partial derivative that we usually like to find is day squared z day y squared. And just as day squared z day x squared involve partially differentiating with respect to x twice, day squared z day y squared involves partially differentiating with respect to y twice. So we've already done it once here to get 3x, then partially differentiating the result 3x with respect to y again. No y's in there at all, so 3x is just treated like a constant, meaning the partial derivative of that is in fact 0. So these four along the bottom here are our four second order partial derivatives. Day squared z day x squared is found by partially differentiating with respect to x twice. Day squared z day y squared, 
partially differentiate with respect to y twice, while day squared z day y day x was partial derivative with respect to x, followed by the partial derivative of that result with respect to y, and day squared z day x day y was partially differentiating with respect to y, then the result of that with respect to x. So these are our second order partial derivatives.